Good day, Renee. Thanks for joining us here in the charts. You're tuned into the Market Beast edition. It is your fellow compadre speaking, of course. Uh, I'm going to stop in and talk about the S&P 500. This is kind of a piggyback on the recent video that we made about the scary truth about the S&P 500. I truly want to clear the air to make sure that we're all on the same page as far as my you know, my true intentions on that video. So I'm going to go over that for you guys here really quickly. And if you're just joining us, hit that subscribe button. We actually go over this, uh, the traditional and alternative market, seven days a week. So we'd love for you to join us and engage in the comment section. Let me know that you just subscribed so I can personally welcome you into the charts, guys. Uh, the channel is growing. The YouTube algorithm is on our side. So with your help, we'll keep it that way, guys. Thank you so much. Okay, every single one of you. Uh, let's go ahead and get to this chart. Again, S&P 500. I just want to go over a few things with you here. So let's go ahead and dive right into the charts here, shall we? All right, so today is January the 12th, 2021, and the current price of S&P 500 is going to be $3,789.90, fluctuating there. It's down about 0.2% for the day. Okay. Now, this video has a bullish tone. I'm, I want to make sure that I stop in on a slightly negative day so that we're all clear that I'm not on some bandwagon, guys. Uh, this is going to be a potentially bullish uh, video. Well, it's more of a bullish video. There's just one level that you have to watch uh, as, as far as a price uh, compromise. Let me just go ahead and show you the pattern that I found, guys. S&P 500. That's it. So if you guys did watch our previous video, hopefully we left a link somewhere. This is our breaking news level. Just ignore that, you guys, if you're just stopping in for now. Um, it'll make sense the more you follow us on our journey here. But this is the projection cone that I found on the price action. These are the actually the three-month candles here, guys. You know, I look at the big boy chart. So the price entered this projection cone in uh, 2000 and October 2017, if you can see that there, okay? This area right here where it kind of entered that projection cone and the price just kind of bounced within this uh, projection cone for a few years up and down up and then this really nasty move and it kind of wicked down there and then right now it has a successful three month candle to break above the resistance line that's been uh, holding the price down ever since January 2018. Now this is important because for those of you who are thinking of betting against the markets right now guys I don't really think that's a good idea honestly. You're betting against the printing press, and that's probably not a practical thing to do if you want to, um, you know, preserve the capital in your portfolio there. The, there's only one level, one level for me. If the price, if S&P 500 can stay above this level right here, you guys know we go over this all the time, support and resistance. The previous level of resistance ever since 2018, January, okay? The S&P 500 has been fighting with this overhead resistance level, and it had a successful three-month candle to break above that level. Is it going to stay above that level? I can't predict the future. But what I will tell you is if the price can stay above what is it like uh what is that uh, approximately three thousand four hundred and seventy nine dollars if within the next three months the sellers cannot compromise this level remember you know i say this all the time look at this this is buyers and sellers forget the numbers guys forget about making money in the markets okay forget about that understand the market's direction have a keen understanding of where is the market going the money's going to come the money's going to follow that right the more you have a keen understanding of where the market is going, you're going to make money in the market. Just forget about the money, though. Understand the markets. You'll be just fine. OK, let's stay on track here. So I think I've already said it. Short video, guys. Three thousand three thousand four hundred and seventy nine dollars. If within this next three month candle, which is 78 days. So let's call it. Let me go and give you guys a time frame here. April the 1st, 2021. If the sellers cannot break back below within this projection cone then it's likely the buyers are going to sense that the sellers do not have what it takes to get back below this level here and then the buyers are going to take that opportunity to rip to the upside and even if they don't rip to the upside there'll be a slow you know like a methodic grind up to the upside and eventually meet these overhead targets for, the, for, the, for those of you just joining in uh, forty six hundred dollars even as high as forty eight hundred dollars could even get higher than that. And I think I had an extreme target of about six thousand dollars for the S&P 500 some may say dude that's that's extreme that's not gonna happen maybe you're right but those are the levels that I have the conservative targets of about again uh, three four thousand six hundred four thousand eight hundred dollars this small range up here 
And I don't think it's going to take less than, uh, longer than 365 days to accomplish those levels, assuming that we're not in the in a really nasty uh, consolidative phase where the price is going to start uh, leaning, so to speak. And then we start creating a little nasty little sideways consolidation and eventually just kind of tip over and just, I mean, complete devastation, guys. I mean, remember, even though we're playing these markets, you know, to the upside, I got my little thing going crazy there even though we're playing these markets to the upside you have better believe guys at some point in the at, at, at some point in these markets we need to hedge like maniacs okay so to speak we're going to have to hedge against these markets okay so be prepared for something like that but i just wanted to clear the air i am not bearish on this market 2021 okay let's be very clear about that i'm not betting against there's some plays that i'll find and you know i'll kind of bet against them but the s p 500 i am not bearish on the s p 500 let's be all on the same page about that okay all right and um yeah that's what i wanted to make sure that you guys see the projection cone that i'm seeing and that uh the markets are not bearish and i want again i wanted to come in on a negative day i say that why do i feel like i repeat myself all the time let's cut it out here guys thank you for your time uh we're gonna go ahead and um cut out here um, if you guys didn't get those levels, rewind it back and uh, understand that we are going to be playing these markets to the upside, uh, you know, for them for the most part. And if you guys are um, into like before you go, if you're into like alternative markets, Bitcoin and altcoins, we cover that as well. Seven days a week, guys. So be sure to subscribe with us so that we can send you out those notifications when you post those videos, guys. Uh, we're really, really glad to have you here. So uh, thank you for your time, guys. Uh, take care of yourselves. Protect your portfolio. We're going to talk very soon. And bye for now. Take care, guys.